Hello and welcome, and this video is probably going to be something a little bit different. I'm attending a furry con this weekend called Fur A. It's, uh, it's one that's been going on for many of years, and this was something that was done for me by my audience. Now, in the process of learning more about what I am getting myself into, I figured I'd go over the terminology that is known as the furry fandom. Well, I, I found an interesting article here to learn about the furry slang. The fandom has their own terms when it comes down to it. And I don't know how accurate some of these are. Um, so maybe if there's some actual furries that come to the channel, maybe you can fill me in on a few that I might miss or might get wrong or might just not have a full understanding of them. So, furry slang in common terms. Of course, we know this from gamer speak, AFK being away from keyboard. I don't see this being a, a, a furry slang. Away from keyboard is absolutely normal for anyone that knows gaming. Angel Dragon, this one I also know as what's now known as a duchy. It's a combination of a dragon and an angel type of furry. But we can get more into those types because that would fall under the different breeds or different types of furries that are out there, which is immensely. Uh, my the, the research that I've been doing has captivated my absolute soul right now anamorphic the human shaped features this is generally what comes down to being a furry is having the taking a persona or a fandom of the furry and changing it into a human like version of an animal mixed with humanity i guess in this sense uh, Au is uh, them replacing the word for howl. Um, it's the furries howling is, is what that is. And I thought that more went to anime over it. I, I think that's where it originally originated. And then you have, uh, of course, that's something that's cute. Adopts refers to the original characters or personas or species that are in adoption. Or if you're going up and saying, oh, you're too cute, I'm adopting you type of thing. It would be my guess. You've got badge and you know, badge, of course, is your past badge. You have commission. That's, uh, of course, if you're getting someone to make you something. Um, e is an expression of excitement, which uh, I, I have seen a lot of that lately. And it's absolutely, I, I, I get it. it, it it's hilarious to watch a furry sit there in a video and just just scream uh with the excitement of seeing their friends that they just don't see online I'll, you gotta you gotta understand a furry con which is what i'm attending i'm walking into a space where people generally talk on an online space and they've never met each other in real life or they have and they just haven't seen each other in months or years so there, I, I'm expecting there to be a lot of happy moments of people just embracing each other. Species, of course, there is very, very many different species of the furry fan. We're gonna, I, I think I might do that as a separate video. For Sona, it's the identity of your furry person or what you perceive it as being. Uh, this is what is getting pointed out on my channel because I have an affinity with phoenixes, um, that might be something that we go down the line. I'm not entirely sure yet. We will wait until after the furry con. Fursuit, it refers to the fursona bodysuit, uh, what people are wearing, the fursuit that they are walking around in. The fursuit maker is a person that builds fursuits, which I have a good example here. We have Stormy Fluff Creations. They are a creator down in Calgary, Alberta, so they are relatively local, and they have a crap ton of fursuits so, so these are the fursuits they make these so they are the fursuit maker um so it's very interesting to see just how far they have taken their creativity how far this really gets then we got fursuiting it's the action of wearing a fursuit for me normally are they are independent events in which activities games and meals are organized it basically refers to an event where friends acquaintances and unknown people gather around 
aka a convention or other events that happen uh for in and around it then you have what's called a gray muzzle which is someone that is a very old member of the uh furry fandom um you have a headshot which is just someone's face being drawn hybrid which doesn't categorically fall into the species of furries uh it's usually a mix of some sort uh ki mono is a japanese art genre or type of design which illustrates animals with anamorphic features and human-like expressions we usually see this in anime there's a lot of anime out there that would show this type of thing for the art form of it uh kiri guru me I, I don't know if I said that right. Japanese word that either that refer, refers either to a costume or pajamas with anamorphic animal design. Well, that's interesting. Lamo laughing my ass off. Of course it is. Of course. And then you have neo furries. This is something I haven't come across at all. Is the word that re refers to members of the furry fandom who don't know much about it, which. I guess is where we're sitting at right now. I don't know a ton about the furry fandom. I have been watching, researching, and doing a lot of it. And it's a very interesting uh, journey that I have discovered. And it's a very different one that I never knew actually existed. Now, for people that are trying to understand who I am and why I am choosing to dive head, head first into this stuff, um, back in my days of a teenager slash, uh, very, very young adult, I literally was the emo kid. Growing up, I was the emo kid. I, I was the kid that would wear the band shirt, have the depressing demeanor, and just be that kid that had all sorts of the emo vibe. I still have that today. But I was also that, that teenager slash young adult that would go to the clubs, that we went to clubs and we dressed up. I own a pair of plastic pants, for Christ's sakes. This is something that it, it cost a lot of money, um, especially when you're going out and drinking. And we did it as club wear, and it was something that was very much more. And you always did it in a way that was a dress to impress atmosphere and this is the same sort of thing that i am seeing with the furry fandom when they go out there in their fursuits they don't give a care in the world and they do it in such a a happy and prolific way that is them trying to just be them and out there and being more of just themselves a larger than life attitude and that's something we've always preached here on the channel a larger than life attitude um the proud canadian phoenix it's it i was blinded it, it, it's absolutely ridiculous that how much i drew to this without even knowing pixel art is a drawing made only by coloring pixels um there is also a new form of like pixel art it's called diamond art where you have these little gems that you put on Go check out my uh, my wife's channel, actually, uh, Dragon's Jewels Creative Gems, she, if you want to know more about that. Plant a grade is the opposite style of digigrade. Oh, did I miss one here? Digigrade. It means of walking style implies using your feet soles to stand up. Therefore, the animal's leg autonomy is closer to that of a human's. And digigrade, I know I missed that. Yeah, digigrade, it refers to the action of only stepping on your toes and not the soles of your feet. It's a style of autonomy for the lower limbs, legs of an anamorphic animal. And you, if you walk like a ninja, um, and where you're walking on the toes of your feet very, very quietly, that's you're doing what's called a digigrade. A Tor? I haven't heard this one. It's a type of uh, original character that exists in the fandom. It walks on all four legs, but it possesses the anamorphic features. Um, I didn't know it was called Tor. I thought there was a different more word for it. A trade, it refers to the action of exchanging goods as part of a fursuit, adopts, art, among others. And I am learning very quickly, a lot of furries trade stickers. Um, yeah. I, I wish I still had some stickers around the channel. I have ordered some more 
for the channel and unfortunately they're not going to be here in time for the for the convention not safe for work of course uh nsfw uh C sirgal is a fictitious type of character that was created by a member of the fandom i uh, sfw safe for work i uh, n o t k now on the keyboard well of course it's the opposite of afk and y c h is your character here so these are slang. I think they have the internet sort of slang, the other stuff in there, because a lot of them do meet online. Anyway, I hope you found this informative. I know I have, and uh, I am looking forward to the furry con, I think. It's a very interesting situation that I have found myself in, and um, I don't know what else to expect at this point. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.